Assalam o Alaikum and welcome. Now quantum mechanics is one of those subjects that is highly misunderstood. If you want to be a serious student of quantum mechanics, here are the five levels in order to maybe fully understand how to use quantum mechanics, how to do quantum mechanics. And by the way, these are also the levels with which they teach in university. So level one is like undergraduate level, level two is like senior university level, and level three is like masters level. Level four is like PhD level, and level five is for those researchers who do quantum mechanics, who practice quantum mechanics or do research related to quantum mechanics. Okay, level one. The aim of level one quantum mechanics is to familiarize the student with the formalism of quantum mechanics. How is it different from classical physics? What are some of the challenges that force us to create quantum mechanics? So this is the standard curriculum of quantum mechanics one, if you like. You would be taught about Stern-Gerlach experiment, so spin half. You may also be taught about spin one, and then you would be taught about wave functions. What are wave functions? And obviously, in order to construct the wave function formalism, you would be taught about wave particle duality, Compton's wavelength, De Broglie's wavelength, and Planck-Einstein's photon quanta. And lastly, you would be taught about the spectrum of hydrogen atom. So you would solve the spectrum problem of hydrogen atom. And you would calculate the spherical harmonics, and maybe you would also touch on simple harmonic oscillator problem. This would be the level one quantum mechanics course. And what are some of the books you can use? You can use McIntyre, you can use Griffith's book, and you can also use the theoretical minimum by Leonard Susskind. So this is level one. So let's talk about level two. In level two, you would be talking about some real problem kind of physics. So let's say if you are talking about diatomic molecules, Zeeman or Stark effect. Then you would need the notion of perturbation theory, time-independent Hamiltonians. Then you would learn about time-dependent Hamiltonians. So you would learn about scattering, and most likely in quantum mechanics, you will also encounter commutators and Lie algebras. Lie algebras and unitary transformations are the most important thing. So unitarity, the concept of unitarity, is the heart of quantum mechanics. This is the most important thing that you need to learn in quantum mechanics. Unitarity, and you would learn how to construct the projective unitary representation of Galilean group. And for this course, you would need some knowledge of group theory or groups and representations. So let me tell you about three books that you can use for this level. For group theory, you can use Tong's book, and you can use Modern Quantum Mechanics. Let's talk about level three. So the main focus of level three is about the applications of quantum mechanics. How do you use quantum mechanics in Real world phenomena. So you would learn about many particle quantum mechanics. In many particle quantum systems, you would have uh, the concept of quantum noise, and you would also learn about decoherence. This level of quantum mechanics will will also really focus on the foundations of quantum mechanics. So you would learn a lot about quantum computation, Bell inequalities, EPR. So already at level three, you are you are talking like professionals. You are talking real quantum mechanics. Obviously. The previous ones were also real, but now you're in the game. The best lectures that I found on this level three quantum mechanics were, were lectures by Tobias Osborn, quantum noise and decoherence. Great lectures by Tobias Osborn. Many electron systems or even molecular systems, and little bit of condensed matter theory as well. So, what are some of the books that you can use for level three? You can use Feynman lectures on quantum mechanics. You can use Nastase quantum mechanics, principles of quantum mechanics by Shankar. Now, let's talk about level four. So, now we're talking. Now you're going to learn exactly intuitively and and a little bit. More rigorous, like physics kind of rigorous. How to think about quantum mechanics? How is it very different from classical mechanics? And now there would be many statements that would really surprise you in at level four. And the difference in level four is just that you you are going to need better tools. Your notations and your tools would be more effective and more powerful. You are not only going to learn about the Schrodinger picture, but also the Heisenberg picture of quantum mechanics. And you would also be guided about quantization schemes. How do you quantize a theory? So how, looking at a problem in classical mechanics, they came up with solutions by quantizing the theory. And you will also learn about the problems with this quantization, Dirac's recipe of quantization. So what are the best books? To learn level four quantum mechanics, the best book is Landau's Quantum Mechanics. So Landau has these series of theoretical physics books. The best series of theoretical physics books 
ever and he has a book on quantum mechanics so non relativistic quantum mechanics obviously this whole ranking is about non relativistic quantum mechanics another book that you can use is weinberg's quantum mechanics book and the third bonus book that i will tell you about dirac's principles of quantum mechanics level 5 for super advanced students so you have been using wave functions and stuff defining vectors in infinite dimensional hilbert spaces who allowed you to do that like how do you justify doing this so the main purpose of level 5 quantum mechanics is to understand the mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics and this course is mostly taught to mathematicians but it should also be taught to physicists many physicists think so that it should be taught to physicists and all the physicists of the higher level study this so what is the aim of this course why should Should you learn level five quantum mechanics? Well, you should learn level five quantum mechanics is because if you want if you want to solve a problem like quantum gravity or something or quantum cosmology or quantum general relativity, whatever that means, you first have to understand what quantum mechanics is. Like, what are the mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics? If you don't even know. what are the inner workings of quantum mechanics how are you going to solve the quantum gravity whatever that is in order to even start learning this level 5 quantum mechanics course obviously you need to know university mathematics and these are the four courses that you should additionally know about you need a course on topology you need a course on group theory you need a course on real analysis and you need a course on functional analysis these four courses and you can study this level of course you are going to learn about banach spaces you are going to learn about how cauchy sequences converge and about banach spaces hilbert spaces spectral decomposition principle for bounded or unbounded operators you are going to learn about magic numbers c star algebra operator algebra sigma algebra measure theory this is a very advanced course and this is also the area that i love the most this is the area which works on the four fronts of quantum mechanics and mathematics so quantum mechanics has taught us a lot about mathematics as well there are many things that we learned in mathematics only because of quantum mechanics the greatest hero would be von neumann obviously we cannot talk about quantum mechanics without talking about hilbert or dirac or feynman path integrals you would remember feynman sophocle there are so many people so these are the five levels of quantum mechanics and let me tell you about a bonus level as well this is just separate from the ranking if you want to start learning about quantum theory of fields or or quantum field theory you need to know what is wrong with quantum mechanics and the best book to learn what is wrong with quantum mechanics is weinberg's quantum theory of fields for physicists for mathematicians it would be quantum field theory basics for mathematicians i think its name is even if you are at level 3 you can start studying quantum field theory and most likely you will understand what's going on see you guys in the next video allah hafiz